Hey guys, okay, this next dream was time traveling dream. And I didn't, I just jumped it out. So, I go to sleep after the last dream of the Anunnaki and all that. And uh, I'm back in Windsor in the old days. And I'm on Olat and Riverside the streets. And then, just to paint a picture for you, there's a let, Riverside, the river, and Detroit on the other side of the river. Okay? And I'm, so I'm sort of facing north. On the left-hand side, there's this bank. And it's an old bank, and it's made out of huge blocks of rock. Like It's like a fucking... So I, and I and I know it's one of the first major banks, sort of like a Masonic thing, but it was a bank when I was there, and now it's not a bank, but it, the but the building's still there, and uh, well anyway, it was a bank in the dream, and so I don't even know it's the past. Okay, I'm running around and I feel the bank, the bank, the bank is saying to me uh i'm the heart of windsor i control all the money flow in windsor and i'm standing there beside the bank and i'm looking at the river and there's uh the wooden sailboats the wooden boats bringing in fucking grain cattle and machines and all this stuff travel all this money and merchandise coming and shipping and receiving from these sailboats are coming into Windsor. Then I can see a, uh, steam trains, you know, the old steam trains. And they're coming in along the river because that's where the train tracks were. And I can see the steam trains moving. I can see, and it was all polluted. It was, it was sort of polluted. Polluted. It was hot. And everybody's walking around. And then I feel like this this building, this bank is the heart of Windsor for uh, shipping and receiving and money and all that politician shit. Anyway, that's why I feel the bank is. And so he's all proud of it. So I'm figuring this out there. I'm, I'm a banker. I feel like I'm a banker or the mayor. Like I'm the mayor. But it's all for free, Freemason Masonic type stuff. And if you look at the building, it was Masonic, straight up. But even thing it has the Masonic thing on the one of the bricks, if I can remember right. I don't know for sure. But anyway, and I feel Mike Berger on my dead buddy that used to live there in Windsor with me. He died a while ago, and I, I see him once in a while in dreams, and I feel him all over me. But I can't. I never see him actually in the dream. But anyway, back in the dream, I'm seeing the old sailboats and the old steam trains. And then I go off and I'm taking pictures of birds and things. And there's this one bird that I've never seen before. And I'm trying to get pictures of it. But then I'm on, I go to the east side. And uh, it's all brick rubble. Like... Like a building exploded. And I'm running around in this rubble. In circles. And I feel like. The guy who owned the bank. Screwed me in a deal. Or I lost in the voting. So I think I was running for mayor. But I lost. Okay. And I was running for mayor. But I lost. And the mayor that's there now that, ha that owns and made that bank, he's the mayor now. And he fucked me. Like he, you know, he did something bad. Screwed me. And I'm in the rubble over here. On the east side of Windsor. Not downtown central Windsor. But I'm on the east side and I'm in the, running around circles in the rubble. And I am... It's like I'm playing a character. I feel like I'm a character. Anyway, 
I um, I'm running around the rubble, and all of a sudden, it's like one uh, a child got abducted and taken away and held hostage, or abducted and killed. And I'm mad about it, and I'm running around circles in this rubble, which this banker created. I think he's a banker, the mayor, banker, mayor. He did all this to his opponent, which was me. But I'm playing even, I'm also playing him. And so I'm running around and I'm trying to figure out what the fuck I'm doing, but I'm just running around in circles. And a child gets abducted, maybe killed. Um, I got screwed over, and I think I was trying to build uh, factories or something. I was trying to build factories on the east side for cars. You know them? Model T cars back then. And I was trying to build. I was a guy. I was trying to. I was like a. So I was up there. Well, this person was up there. And that. And he was trying to build factories and shit. But he. He kept getting screwed over by this mayor. And, uh. And Windsor did build car parts for a long time. Ford, GM, all that was there. And, uh. Um, that's what basically what I did. And Mike, I kept feeling Mike the whole time. And I couldn't understand why I'm feeling Mike, but I never saw him. So this is a dream. Then I wake up. And, uh. Christ goes. So how'd you like 1892? And I'm like, what? And he goes, you time traveled. And I go, I did? And he goes, yep. And he goes, that's time traveling. And then he goes, remember you asked the other day? So you go time traveling? Yeah, but I meant in the cosmic convergence. And he goes, well, there's different ways of doing it. Down here with me, this is how you time travel. And he goes, I, I took you to 18... 92 he goes i took you time traveling and you put yourself in the place and time but I, I helped you get there and i'm like well fucking cool right i go that was it was pretty cool i got to see the steam the, the old steam boats steam trains sailboats so it was in that time from a sailboat to steam and uh where the transition was and he said it was 1892. And then he goes, well, what did you do there? And I go, well, Mike was around. And he goes, Mike's there with you right now. And I go, where is he? And he goes, he's in your room with you. And I'm like, here in reality? And he goes, he goes, in the spirit world, he's in, he's hanging out with you. I'm like, well, how come I can't see him? Because you ain't there yet and you ain't looking at him. And he goes, shift to him and you'll see him. And I'm like, no. I started talking about time and I go, well, I felt like I was the mayor. I felt it was like I was two characters, and we were fighting each other. And he goes, yep. And I go, well, tell me what it was. And he goes, well, I felt like I was the mayor, and I fucked this other guy who was my, my, my opponent in voting to become mayor, but I screwed him over, and then I blackmailed him, and I... His oldest kid, and I was playing. And then I went to him, and he was running. He wanted to build factories or something, but every time I went to do something, the mayor fucking screwed me. And then uh, they did a false flag on me where they stole my kid, so I couldn't build the factories because I was distracted by that and all this stuff. And he goes, "Yep, that politics." <laughs> and I go, and I go to the bank. The bank was like the cornerstone, the hub of the economy in uh, Windsor at the time. And that the mayor was a part of building this bank and creating the economy of Windsor back then. I go, well, how come you didn't take me back to the Civil War? And he goes, I don't know. He goes, that's where you went back to, to uh, 1892. And uh, I go, well, can I get back to... I go, how do I get to the Civil War or a, 
that, stuff like that. And he goes, well, you got to put your mind to it, where you want to go. And then when you dream, you'll go there. Or, if you're able to, check out unconsciously. You can go there and walk around and look around. But you have a hard time doing it. I'm like, yeah, I do. Unless mom does it for me or you do it for me. I can't really go there by myself. Unless I uh, just naturally happens, right? That's how it usually works. Like this one. It's like three days, two days ago, I thought about JC. I was talking about time travel. It took two days for me to actually, for him to show me or me to go with him into that time. And I think the reason I went to that time was because of Mike, my dead buddy, that I'm hanging out with now. And I got to see the how Windsor was created with this bank, this cornerstone bank. I was on the corner of Riverside and Olette. And uh, um, I got to see the makings, the economy, the makings of it, and how, how the mayor fucked his opponent and abducted his kid, gave this false flag to screw up the other guy because he was getting more power than the mayor, and the mayor kept screwing him over and blocking his building of factories and stuff that he wanted to do. And they, he, basically they hated each other. And that's what I got to see. I got to play the part. I got to play the part of the mayor, and I got to play the part of his opponent. So they are both corrupt. But... And it was all Masonic. So basically, the gang, the Masonic gang, runs every city in North America. Okay, the, Mas the Masons. From the mayors, to the police, to the fire department, all government. That's all Masonic, right? All government shit is all Masonic. And especially the banks and the lawyers and all that, you know, the banks. They all own that. So, I think that came about, the Masonic part came about because of Jean Bonnet Ramsey. I'm doing her reverse speech, and it has to do with the cops. And the cop that was in the building with Jean Bonnet, she was in there as a patsy, or they were going to set her up, or something like that. And it turns out, that the guy, the, the old man, he was he wanted to be mayor or something, or he had something to do with the mayor of the town. And I don't know yet all of it, but I'm doing another one, the one that I didn't want to do because it was going to get me killed. But I figured I'd just put it on Minds.com, and they can't trace it or find me or anything like that, I'm hoping. And so I could just uh, link it to my Facebook page. But this one is really, I did two two sets already on it and it's already freaking me out how bad it is it's a fucking snake pit like you wouldn't believe evil pure evil and Barbara Walters pure evil I guess she she says in this that she worked for the CIA I ain't got to that part yet but anyway pure evil man. these guys are just evil so, that was the second dream back in Windsor of 1892 where I got to see the politics and the economy totally out of my stuff. I really hate this stuff. I'm the next time I get Christ. Next time you take me, to, I go, take me back to when the ice age is melting. I go, I used to sit in Windsor and, and I look at Detroit and I imagine the ice age three miles high melting in front of me over top of Detroit. And I go, that's what I want to see, man. That's or the, the place to see with the saber-toothed tigers and the mastodons walking around, the native people living along the river. I want to see the fucking river full of ducks and geese and swans and everything before it became a shithole toxic sewer. I go, I want to see what it used to be like to see passenger pigeon flock 
flying over all day, blackening the sky. That's what I want to see. I go, I don't give a fuck about politics and a bank and a Masson and Masons and all. Fuck them. They're just corruption bullshit. And I go, that's what I want to see the natural history. Not fucking political mayors and banks. None of that. I don't want to see that. Natural history. You know, 10 billion monarchs flying across the river. Something like that. The river full of ducks and geese and swans and, you know, that stuff. Anyway, so that's what I'm working on. So that was my little time travel thing back to 1892 with the steamboats and the steam trains and the sailboats. And I saw it. I smelt it. You, you, you smell the, you know, when the steam train goes and all that smoke comes out, well, it's all over the sky. The boats are polluting over the sky. It's like a blue day, but it's got piss yellow and black smoke and clouds. And that's what it looked like back in 1892. And I'm fucking, whoa. Horses and buggies. Horses and buggies. And, and, uh, those little cars, Model T type cars going around. All that. And, uh, Olette had the, uh, trolley cars that go down. I gotta see that. Pretty cool. I felt it, smelt it, saw it. I got the vibe of it. But I'm like, well, take me back to the Civil War when we were fighting Americans across the river, blowing the shit out of each other. That would be cool. I want to see the battle, man. Show me the battle in Amherstburg. And he goes, you go there. He goes, all you got to do is bring in Christ consciousness, think about that, and it'll take you there. And you'll just go one day. Usually it takes a day or two, but you go. Just keep meditating on that. Keep thinking about it. And tell yourself you want to go see it. And you'll go see it. And that he goes, that's what you did here. Why can't you do it? He goes, I don't know why you went back to see the politics and the, everything of Windsor. And he goes, go somewhere you want to go. And you'll go. And I'm like, well, all right, then I'm going to do that. So I'll let you know. I'll make another video when I actually do it. And just like the uh, last video with the Anunnaki, I was doing them pictures two days ago. And I was thinking, throwing it around in my head, how the Anunnaki, the left and the right factions of the Anunnaki, created religion and all that crap on Earth from the pictures that I posted on Facebook. And then I had the dream, whereas in the church going down to the, the, the last civilization on earth that created us, or the church of today, religion. All right, guys. Pretty cool stuff. Later.